All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today, I wanted to quickly bring your attention to something that I honestly didn't even think about until it was brought up by my boy uh, AC Gaming on Twitter. So a big shout out to him for inspiring this video. But basically what he said was that since we got the Extreme Z Awakenings for each member of the Free to Play Kinyu Force team, this event right here, the Fierce Battle Saga Extreme Z Battle Event has become an absolute goldmine for Hercule statues and Zenny because the weakness for the event is in fact the Ginyu Force category. And now that the team is significantly better, you know, they hit much harder, they get a lot more defense, uh, it's become much, much easier to clear the stages for the event and get your Hercule statues. So if you guys happen to be somewhat low on Zenny right now and you're looking for a way to quickly get some more, then look no further than the Fierce Battle Saga Extreme Z Battle event. Now, in terms of the teams, you do have a few options. You could go for the full free-to-play route and just bring two Ginyu Gokus and the full uh, Extreme Z Awakened team. But if you can't find Ginyu Gokus because the friend system sucks, then you could also go for another leader that leads all the members, right? So something like a STR Cooler or who was the Space Traveling Warriors lead again? Uh, oh, the STR Bojack, for example, could work. But for now, let's go for the all free to play team. We're going to jump in here. This is obviously stage 36, so not super high. But if I remember correctly, this event was actually kind of tough without the Extreme Z Awakenings. So you guys will see just how much easier it is now with uh, a fully Extreme Z Awakened team. So uh, let me just give a few orbs here to each of the members and we should be able to actually kill Vegeta uh, in this one rotation but we'll see okay so we took a little bit of damage there nothing too crazy and he's getting 1.2 mil attack and we're doing about 4 million damage and then now with the Ginyu attack Vegeta should be dead so there you go guys two shot Two shot the Vegeta. Like I said, I know it's not a super high stage, but before I do know, like it took a lot more attacks. It took a lot more time to actually clear each level. That's why I actually didn't go that far um, on this event, because like there were a lot of other ones, like the Broly one, for example, that were much better for farming. But now that we have these Extreme Z Awakened members, there's no reason why um, you wouldn't be farming this event specifically. And I know it might be kind of obvious to some people, maybe you guys already knew this, but I didn't think about it, right? Like when I got the Ginyu Force team done, I didn't think, yo, this would be a perfect opportunity to farm this event. And then I saw on Twitter, AC was talking about it, and I was like, yo, that's actually so smart. So if you guys didn't know, then hopefully this video, you know, reminded you or inspired you to farm some Zenny. As you guys can see, man, I'm like pretty low right now. I only have about, well, 300 million is actually not bad. Yeah, I think it was because of the, uh, like, Zenny returning uh, campaign where you get, like, Hercule statues for Extreme Z Awakening certain units. That's why I got a lot more. But before this, like, celebration started, I was really low on Zenny. And uh, obviously, the Extreme Z Awakenings cost a lot, so... I'm probably going to be farming this event quite a bit just to get my Zenny up to maybe a billion. No, that's probably not going to happen. At least 500 million. At least 500 million. Because million, you can never have enough Zenny in this game. Especially with the pace they're releasing Extreme Z Awakenings and each one taking like... Uh, wait, what was the actual number? It was a lot, man. It's like 50 mil per unit or something like that. Either way, you can never have enough Hercule statues. You never have enough Zenny. So yeah, go farm this event right now. We're getting through this really, really quick. Now we did run out of Ginyu Goku, so I'm gonna try to find a cooler here, which we should be able to, cause a lot of people set coolers. So there you go. And we'll switch over to the double cooler lead. Now in this instance, the cooler is not gonna be hitting that hard because he is SDR type. The Vegeta is obviously AGL type, so 
The cooler is not going to be doing a lot of damage, but the other members of the Ginyu Force team are going to be hitting really hard and also tanking pretty well since they do get uh, increased damage reduction right on the event. So we should be fine up until, I don't know actually, like maybe we can get to level 200 possibly with this team. Uh, I haven't tried it, obviously, so it's kind of hard to say, but right now, it's really, really easy, man. We're literally two-shotting every single stage. We're literally just getting through the Vegeta like nothing, and it was not like this before. I can tell you that for sure, man. It was not like this before. Like, it was a bit of a struggle to go beyond level 30, and that's why I never farmed it. But now it's such... Oh. See, this rotation's kind of rough. Okay, this... Sometimes you run into like a situation like this and uh, it's not ideal because like I said, man, the coolers are not very effective here. We're only using them for theater skills essentially and uh, it might take me like two turns to beat him now, but it's still going to be relatively easy up until probably like a pretty high level. So yeah, go go get your Zenny, go get your Hercule statues and that's essentially all I wanted to say. In this video man so uh, we'll do one more level after this let me see how much damage actually cooler's doing I don't think it was a ton though yeah okay so not that effective here and I'm pretty sure the same thing would apply to the Bojack as well right because he is SDR type he's not getting force uh, oh okay so we're still gonna beat Vegeta in one rotation it just took a lot of additional attacks but there you go man um, let me know in the comments yo if you guys are watching this video right now I mean obviously you are but uh, let me know if you guys knew about this uh, was I the only one that really didn't think about it or were you guys um, not surprised I guess but is this like news to you is this like new information for you because yo, when I heard about it I was like dude this is genius like, why did I not think about it? But there you go, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to beat Vegeta's butt one more time. And then uh, we out. As always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And of course, if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now. Yo, Goldo just soloed Vegeta by himself. That's crazy. Okay, maybe one more. Maybe one more. It's just so quick. Like, you blink and you miss it. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, um, I kind of forgot what I said now. Yeah, if you liked the video, like the damn video, sub to the channel. If you guys are new here, um, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And let's kill Vegeta one more time. And then we are... We are done here. Damn, yo, look at those additionals. Okay, so once again, soloing Vegeta by himself. Done. Super, super quick. Super simple. Go and do this, guys. Okay, it's just such an easy way to get Zenny. It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Have an awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.